Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. As you can see, we got a bunch of snow. And fortunately, I ended up making this cover <clears throat> out of Douglas fir. So that way it keeps the uh, fire pit clear. And I was smart enough not to leave the uh, lighter over here. Now, hang on for one second here. Oop, sorry. Let me get the fire lit. Okay. We got a fire. Now, before I get back to that, a couple people in the uh, chat asked me about what it looked like with the snow because they don't get snow and I wanted to show you guys again the fish pond unfortunately I put my shoes on like slippers so I just kind of tucked them in but it's warmed up actually a little bit so I don't have any ice on top of it but if you look down in here down on the bottom there's all my babies they're hibernating and it is pretty. It is actually really, really pretty when you see the waterfalls. Let's, let's walk around over here. You see the ice on the uh, Japanese maple and the lights. I need to add a little more water to it, but kind of frozen out here. But that's the fish pond and, of course, the deck up here. So let me go back to the deck and the fire where it's nice and warm. So I just got finished with, uh, look at that. Oh, I can't wait for spring. I just got finished with my live stream and it was fiery. We had a lot of people in here and we have a lot of passion. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of pretty. We have a lot of passion with our Dallas Cowboy fans about Dak Prescott. The thing I can say Besides that, I'm dropping the camera. Hmm. Sorry. I think I've got some ice. There we go. Ice on the holder. Okay, there we go. The thing I can say about Cowboy fans are we are all passionate about wanting the Dallas Cowboys to get their shit together. We are tired of seeing Tom Brady and Super Bowl after Super Bowl. We're tired of seeing Tampa Bays and uh, Arizonas and Rams and all these teams doing great things to fall and then rebuild and go back. And we still seem to be stuck on stupid. We can all agree on that. And tonight was interesting because we had some fans from the Rams and from uh, Denver and things like that that came in. Shout out to you. Both of you guys. Um, you have YouTube channels. I sent you my email. You know, we can carry, carry discussion. And it wasn't about being hate. You know, my man said, you didn't have 50 videos um, about Matthew Stafford stinks. Well, I'm just, hey, look, I'm trying to put out the information and the opinion that I have about Matthew Stafford. I think that he's overrated for what they're saying that he can do. I'm not saying he won't do well for the Rams, but you would think that they just traded for Joe Montana. And then we have the Dallas Cowboys with other teams that literally, my man from uh, Denver, he's like, I'd take Dak Prescott in a heartbeat. You Cowboy fans don't understand. I'd take Dak Prescott like that. No questions. At what, you know, just, just give me a number. Because they've looked at guys from Brock Osweiler and Paxton Lynch and you know and, and Drew Locke and stuff. They have understand this. Denver, in the time that we only spent a fourth round draft pick for Dak Prescott, they spent two number ones in five years on a quarterback. And they're looking at it right now and like, we ain't gonna have to spend another number one on a quarterback again, are we? We are we really gonna do this again? Washington, my man, Washington fan, 
email, you know, text Dak, I mean, uh, Michael during the show and was like, man, I'll take Dak in a heartbeat. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping you guys mess up. We'll take Dak. Oh, we'll take Dak. But yeah, we got Cowboy fans. Oh, man, he's a bum. He's overrated. Get rid of him. Get him out of here. I can't stand him. You know, and I'm just like, I don't understand. I think some of you are too young to remember uh, BR before Romo. When we just went through a litany of quarterbacks, you know, from Ryan Leaf, the biggest bust in football, and uh, Anthony Wright, and, you know, Randall Cunningham at the end of his career, and um, Stoner. I mean, we just had quarterback after quarterback after quarterback that never did anything. And somehow we get Tony Romo as an undrafted free agent and you know we lose him after having you know 10 years of him to Dak Prescott a guy who hadn't missed a game until this year and for some reason that's not good enough there's better out there dudes take a good look at what teams are trying to do to find somebody who's competent it ain't easy Oops, snow coming back down again. It ain't easy to find a quarterback. And you got nothing in the waiting. At least the Eagles can look and say, well, you know, we got Hurts, we got Wentz. Okay, we're going to try and make do with one of those guys. At least um, if you're Green Bay, you say, okay, we got Aaron Rodgers. And we got a young guy who could sit back there that we drafted that maybe he'll be a quarterback. You got something as a hope. The only other quarterback we have on the roster right now is Ben DiNucci. The bomb-ass pizza spot that can play. That's it. And guys are just saying, let him walk. Screw him. He wants too much money. Are, are you really literally saying that the difference of 4 or $5 million of signing a guy that you don't have to give up anything for that works with your players, that has been a team player, you're saying, oh, we can do better than that. We'll just draft somebody. Hello? Hello? Denver's drafted two guys in the same time that we've had Dak Prescott. Washington. You see, Washington just drafted a guy in the first round two seasons ago. And they were trying to trade for Matthew Stafford after paying Alex Smith after letting Kirk Cousins go, after spending three number ones for RG3, after signing Donovan McNabb. You don't want to get on that train. You don't. That is some rough shit. And unfortunately, you've been spoiled at least have had a quarterback. I ain't saying we won Super Bowls, but it takes a whole team to win. And anybody out there that says, oh, we lost because of Dak, I challenge you to get me one quarterback that would have won a Super Bowl with this team as it was constructed this year. You could have put Pat Mahomes on this team this year and we're not winning the Super Bowl. Sorry, it's not happening. And you're a damn fool if you believe that. It just gets to be ridiculous the amount of hate and venom that people get. I just hope one way or another we just get this done so we can move on and just stop dealing with this cowboy fan at cowboy fan crime that's going on and so much hate, tired of hate. It's a time where we should be coming together. Whew. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. Be safe out there and God willing, I'll see you in the morning.